Hello everybody, it's your boy AJ Tripp with the word according to me. Right now I'm doing Captain America Civil War review. Saw it today. It's so epic. It was unbelievable. Uh, I went in thinking that it, was, it might be the greatest movie of all time. It wasn't, but there still there were some outstanding performances. Hopefully this year they'll get the right due credit. And Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr., and the entire movie will be nominated at the Oscars this year because they totally deserve it. Um, so beware of spoilers because I'm going to get into a little bit of part, some, some parts of the movies. I won't get into the end part because that's something you need to see for yourself. I think that was, uh, came, it came out of nowhere, for, at least for me. I didn't see it coming. So I was shocked and surprised and, and uh, I thought it made even more to the Civil War effect of the movie. But basically what happens is that there's an accident in Wakanda, I believe, dealing with the Scarlet Witch and some innocent civilians. And it's got the UN, United Nations, up in arms, and they want the Avengers to sign this uh, document stating that the UN decides when and if the Avengers gets involved in certain uh, uh, things that happens with the world. Uh, and obviously two factions square off. You've got guys like Iron Man, Black Widow, and uh, uh, James Rhodey, um, who feels like it's, it's, it's the right thing to do, you know? I think it's, you know, especially Rhodey, he's a soldier, and, you know, so they just feel like it's, and, 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 you know, I think Iron Man feels that way because he kind of gets guilted into it by um, somebody who lets him know that uh, during Age of Ultron, uh, an innocent bystander who's obviously, he's going to be a good kid. He's like a 3.8 GPA, very smart. He's over there doing charity work, but he unfortunately lost his life. And so he's a little bit um, down about that. Uh, as you as you would see, and uh, it uh, makes them want to be more credible and uh, take more responsibility for, for what they do. But while you have uh, Captain America, who feels like you know it's not it shouldn't be the UN, it should be us. You know, uh, the Avengers who take care of um, business. Uh, he's uh, quoting there something about being with their own hands. And, uh, you know, and he's right, because, you know, as we know, they don't know, but we know, Thanos is coming. And does the UN really want, you know, to, you know, because the UN might wait to the last minute, and then Thanos will have all ten rings, you know, of, um, yeah, all ten rings, or he'll have all five gems, maybe not ten rings, I'm thinking about, um, <laughs> I'm thinking about the, the guy, the Mandarin, who, by the way, didn't have... I'm still pissed about Iron Man 3, but I'll get over to that. Uh, this is Captain America Civil War, um, the third movie, and this movie was definitely better than Iron Man 3. Um, anyway, but, yeah, but he'll have all five gems by the time the UN wants to, you know, intervene uh, against him. So, um... So you can see both sides of it, and I thought it was uh, well played out, well acted. I think some great action scenes. I think um, you know what you know the way they introduced the Black Panther was incredible, and I think the scene uh, after that it's it's you know typical superhero stuff. His father, the King of Wakanda, gets killed, so now he's the King of Wakanda, and he wants revenge on the Winter Soldier, who he believes. Then anybody else believes, you know, killed him. So, and uh, it's a great story. I think the way they inter they um, introduced Spider Man now into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think is great too. Um, just listen, there's been five other Spider Man movies. We we know in two different. No versions. We we know the story of Spider-Man, so there's no need to you know recount that. I think they did a good enough job 
at the you know, 10, no, no, 10, 10, maybe five, five, seven minutes that um, they did in, to introduce the character. I find it very interesting. The fight scene was awesome. Um, you know, I think so. Um, it was really a great cinematic, I don't know how to say it, but the, the videography of the whole movie was good. You know, I think how they got the camera angles and things like that. I thought that was awesome. There's some very funny moments in the movie between Anthony Mackie, who plays Falcon, and uh, Sebastian Stan, who is um, the Winter Soldier. And uh, I think there was some very funny moments between those guys. Uh, Spider-Man brings his, you know, eclectic, you know, thing to the movie and uh, obviously, you know, we know about Spider-Man in comic books. He's a talker. He likes to talk, and uh, kind of, you know, getting on everybody's nerves. Almost, you know, Deadpoolish, but um, I, I thought it was very, very, um, again, very, very good to have them, you know, into the, you know, the universe. And, and, and I think, you know, I, I'm not sure what really is going down with Fox, you know, and their characters, but. I, they, they, I think they have to find a way. If they can't bring the entire X Men or a couple, you know, or anything like that, they need Wolverine. I think. I, I really do think that. And you know, I think even if you know, just um, what's his face? <laughs> Sorry about that, yawning. Um, but uh. Hugh Jackman said that he's, he's got like one last Wolverine video in him, you know, movie in him, and it's, you know, so I don't know if that's this one coming up with Apocalypse or doing another one, but he's also said in the past as well that he thinks it would be great for you know Wolverine to be part of it, and I, I would too. And I think they have to come. They not only do have to come together to get Wolverine, but you have to come together, obviously, for um, Galactus and. You know, so they, uh, you're doing all this move. They have to do, uh, they have to do a Galactus movie, at least one. So, you know, the way I see it, they've they've got four movies, you know, out for the Avengers, right? You know, we've gone through the first two, next two are coming up. You know, you got, in my opinion, you got, you can do two more Ultron movies. You know, then you have the, you can do. Two Super Scroll invasions, you know. Then you have um, you can do like a Hulk. I don't know. I don't know if they plan to do another Hulk movie, but you can do a movie about the leader, you know, who's a Hulk villain. However, but you know, he still, can, you know, he can be part of the Avengers, and maybe you can stretch it out into stretch, stretch, stretch that out into two movies. So there are a lot of things that they can do, you know. It's, it's still. A whole lot of stuff they can do. So, you know, for me, and and, and I think this they've said this already, where they're the to where even where so where if if you know if at one point if you know if Chris Evans doesn't want to do Captain America anymore, that's fine. They'll you know they'll cast another actor, but they but they won't reboot you know reboot him and you know do like a Another, you know, go back and tell the story over again. They don't do that. They'll just, you know, we'll, we'll know he's different, obviously, and and you know, like that. But you know, it, it will just be what it is. Anyway, back to the review because uh, I'm, I'm about through right now. So, like I said, I don't want to give anything away to the end of it, but I, um. I think everybody should go see this movie, without question. Um, this was a fun. You bring your kids, you bring your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you bring whoever you want. Your mother, mother Mother's Day, want to go see the movie together is awesome. An awesome time. I had a boatload of fun at it, and I think you will too. Uh, so, um, really quick, um, the next movie 
is Doctor Strange. Um, that's in November. Then I think we have Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, and then Thor Ragnarok next year for 2017. And then 2018, Definity War, Part 1. Or they're going to change it and call it something else. But it's the Avengers Infinity War. And we'll see how this movie affects that. And uh, that's all I'll, I'll say right now. I don't think I'll spoil too much of it. I, I did let you know some of the things about the movie. So I'm going to put a spoiler alert thing uh, all around. So if you, if you don't want to find out anything, it will be up there. All right? Okay then, guys. Uh, this has been my Captain America 3 Civil War review. It's your boy, AJ Tripp. The word according to me. Be good to each other, y'all.